perennial favorite here on Reality Check TV, the one and only Billy Sheehan, the Neil Peart of bass. <laughs> wow, that's a, quite an honor. I, I know. I'll try, I know to but you I'll try to live up to that. <laughs> Very nice. So, did you ever get to meet Neil Peart or jam Oh, with him? Mr. Big toured uh, the whole Presto tour and most of Roast, Roll the Bones. Ah. Very, very, very. They are some of the sweetest, dearest, most talented human beings, all three of them. Uh huh. And it's a terrible loss, of a course. Tragic yeah, loss, a tragic loss, yeah. So, uh, I, actually, I did play with Neil. You did? Yeah, because I got up, uh, well, we got up in the end and jammed for the encore with oh. Rush. But then one day, uh, Getty was late for sound check. So you, you can find it on YouTube. Uh, so oh. I got up and did the sound check with Alex and Neil. Oh, cool! Played Betty Getty's bass. And oh it, man, that, that was cool. Been fun. It was yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. What a what an incredible memory. They were. I love those guys completely. And yeah, definitely. So sorry to hear about Neil. Oh man, it's terrible. So uh, tell us uh, anything new in the Harky world. What do you do? Well, they've got these new lightweight guys that I'm really excited about because you, you, they're they're lightweight. They only weigh about eight pounds. Yeah, because we so, remember the, the really heavy ones. Yeah, this guy here, this guy's right. tough. <laughs> it's a, it always, always pulling the racks apart because it's so heavy. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but it sounds great. But the lightweight ones, they're, it's uh, quite nice, too. Yeah. Well, so Karki has always had a nice, punchy sound. I think that's they're why it's great. ideal for yours. I've years. never had a single problem. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah, very good. So are, do, do you ever think about doing a signature model? Have you done one? I've thought about it, but I, maybe someday. I got a signature model of almost everything else. I know. That's, what I'm, <laughs> that's why, I, you know, so, uh, that's true. That's so, uh, not when I get it too crowded. Now, update us a little bit on Sons of Apollo and, and your... Sons of stuff. Apollo, new record just came out today. Awesome. MM, MMXX. That means 2020 in Roman numerals. <laughs> and already the social media today, I got a zillion uh, uh, comments. Supremely positive. I'm very, very grateful for that. Our tour starts Friday in Pomona. Then we do the Roxy on Sunset Strip Saturday. Then we do a whole bunch in the USA. Take a short break, go to EU, UK. Take a short break, go to South America. Nice. Southeast Asia from there. Hopefully Australia, New Zealand. We're working on it. Then back to USA and Europe for summer festivals. And no rest for the wicked. Yeah, an, an ambitious schedule by, by any stretch. So uh, where, do, where do people go to find out more about all things Blue Machine? Uh, my Facebook page, Blue Dot means Facebook verified. Uh, my Twitter feed, my Instagram, my BillySheehan.com. Uh, Sons of Apollo has their website, Winery Dogs, of course. We're going to be writing for the Winery Dogs uh, about halfway through this year for a release next year. Very excited about that, too. So I get to play in two bands with Mike Portnoy. We always have a blast with that. And How cool is that? It's two very different things, though, sure. which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's uh, interesting that you're able to switch up like that, you know, from one thing to the next. Yeah, I'm an old dog, so I, I know all the old He's tricks. a pro. He's a pro, folks. <laughs> all right, always great to visit you, you, sir. Thanks again.